So I'm just leaving the Department of Labor building, right? And this is after I go to my state assembly woman, who wasn't there, by the way. And I see that the Department of Labor was in. It's in the Shirley Chisholm State Office building on Hanson Street, right? In Fort Greene. I'm, Cause at this point, there should be no reason why I'm eight weeks without unemployment pay at all. Eight weeks. I've tried calling. All representatives are busy. Please try your call again later. And it hangs up. The same result since late January. Call, call, call. I apply for my benefits weekly, nothing. So finally, I look up my uh, state assembly. This is Congresswoman. She wasn't there. I got there about 10 a.m. I see the Department of Labor is in that building. I asked them if I can go there. They say, no, it's not open for public. I say, okay, so you need to have an office somewhere. This is, if y'all watch my previous videos, you know that this is after they, um, I called 301 to report them. We're not answering the call for just cutting off my benefits without telling me why. And the 311 lady didn't know either. She, she, was, she was very empathetic with my plight, right? So now I'm just like, okay, what can I do? But go to somebody who, you know, my tax dollars pay their salary. Public servants serve the public, right? I go to do that and they ain't there. The security guards though were super helpful. They told me about this address over here. It's 250 Skimmerhorn Street. And I go over there. I tell them the situation. They gave me a specific number that they had to covertly type in themselves, take the phone away and type in so I could sit on the phone with them. I took a picture of the number because, and finally I get through to somebody. And they explain to me what's going on. I have to like fax some sheets. It should all be handled within a couple of weeks. Point is, in order to understand what was going on with my unemployment benefits that my family, like we are at this point reliant on, our savings is running low. <sighs> We're getting cut off from food stamps. That's a whole nother story. My partner just got done with surgery, has another surgery to do, and possibly another one. It's recovering. I have to buy a wheelchair, and we have to pay partially out of pocket for the surgery and physical therapy, and it's 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 just so much. And look, with the cost of food and and rent and all of these things combined, it's financially overwhelming. And this thing we rely on is just gone. So something has to be, I was like, I'm going to put my boots on the ground and something's going to get fucking done today. Because ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm going to continue to go another week without the benefits my tax dollars accrued. I've been working shit for, <laughs> I've been working since what, I was 14 in some capacity. Hold on, cement truck, loud ass New York. noisy ass city but anyway so basically if you're out there having problems with unemployment go down to the department of labor nearest you this is in new york at least if you're in new york city i'm in brooklyn so i went to the skimmerhorn street one 250 skimmerhorn you go there tell them what's going on they have direct numbers to get to the unemployment offices if you can get through to them then your situation will be solved one way or another, or at least you'll know the steps on how to do so. The fact that you have to jump so through so many hoops is, is, is to be honest with you, a form of, it's a form of state-run Darwinism, <laughs> right? It's like seeding out the weaklings. Oh, people who are too lazy to go out and get it or too lazy to find the answers or, you know don't have the room or space available to put boots to the ground and go out and you know who can't afford a metric card who don't have a smartphone who don't know what to google or what they're looking for i didn't know this existed until i went to the state assembly office in short any problems with any state agency or office go to your state assembly person whether they're there or not somebody in that office building has to know something 
and because as silver tongue as i can be and i told the, the the honest security guards what was going on my situation and asked questions and was observant of what was around me i was able to receive the answers i needed so in short never give up even if you guys do out there go out there and do it your damn self it is what it is at this point but I'm already exhausted and it's still smoke so much oh also get names write down names numbers dates and times I I was writing down like every person I came in contact with the address the agenda everything write down everything numbers emails contact info who you have to come you know who you have to speak to the next day and follow up and shit will get done one way or another like put your tax dollars to work ain't no way i'm paying state oh no sorry federal state city and local taxes for them not to heed to my bidding and i'm not asking for much i was laid off for work i didn't ask to be laid off for work i would have found work a long time ago i'm still looking for work so clearly this isn't a forever solution this is just so Rent's paid, internet's paid, phone bill is paid. We keep food on the table and we can get to the next day fighting, working on the next solution. That's really it, so I got my latest update. So I'm still out here, still have a couple of errands to run. But, oh, also when you're going into state offices, be sure to look fabulous, cause come on now, come on now. The, bit, the drip never takes a back seat. I may be broke, but I don't look like it. All right. <laughs> then when you dress like you respect yourself, people will also treat you that way. I know it's all about, you know, respectability, po politics and whatever. There's a double consciousness. I think us black Americans work with daily. And I'm going to come back on here later to talk a little bit about the representation of that, the realization of that and people either rejecting it or, or evolving it to some new thing but yeah just respect yourself and appearance and people will follow suit and shit will get done you know and also early bird gets the worm by the time i left that office and i was there for over two hours by the way by the time i left it was crowded i would have never gotten out of there had i not get there the time that i did so get up early dress well keep receipts and stay on a keep your foots on a next shit will get done bye hopefully this rent was more helpful <laughs>